Hi, it's Tim Cohen. I want to talk to you about the subject of fulfillment. Fulfillment is a big deal in our lives. You know, you were created to live off of this sense and in this sense of fulfillment, living a life that was fulfilling to you and fulfilling of something bigger than you. And uh, that's the way God created you and I to function on planet Earth. I'm reminded of Genesis chapter 1 where we were created in God's image, 126. That's a gift. We were gifted with His image. We don't make ourselves the way that we want to be. We were created just the way He wanted us in His image. That was His gift to us. Number two, it says then He blessed us in Adam and Eve. Before they ever accomplished anything, they were given His identity, and then they were blessed with the affirmation and the pleasure of God over their lives. That, that alone is just mind-blowing. Before we do anything in our lives, we already share the approval of God. That's, that's powerful. So out of that place of identity and approval, Adam and Eve then were given assignments to be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and do it, right? And likewise, you and I, we live in, those of us who know Jesus and have been born again, we've been made new creatures in Christ. And so that identity of God inside of us that was marred by sin has been repaired and, and, and we become actually become new creatures in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And we are like Jesus living under the blessing of our Father before we have accomplished anything. Just like Adam and Eve, Jesus in his baptism, uh, the Father came and said, this is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. Well, he hadn't actually accomplished any of the, the assignment that was yet in front of him. He hadn't even entered his public ministry yet, and yet God was well pleased. So that's true of you and I as well. We carry our identity and the blessing of God into our assignment, but it's when we carry those things into our assignment and live our lives on assignment, like Adam and Eve and Jesus, we can live in this sense of fulfillment. So we fast forward to John chapter 4, and of course this is where Jesus was ministering to the woman, the Samaritan woman at the well. And he says to her, listen, I've got water that you don't know of. And if you drink this water, you'll never thirst again. And of course, and later he, he talks to her about how, how many husbands she's had. And the man that he's, she's living in right now isn't actually her husband. She's living unfulfilled in her life, looking for fulfillment in the wrong places. And Jesus then, of course, before he meets the woman, he sends his disciples into town to get some food. So they're on an, an assignment. They come back with natural food, thinking that Jesus will be ready to eat. And listen to what he tells them in John 4, verse 31. 31 says, Meanwhile, the disciples were urging Jesus, Rabbi, eat something. They were so excited. They fulfilled their assignment. They got the natural food, and, and Jesus didn't seem interested. This is... This is really a powerful principle. Verse 32, but Jesus replied, I have a kind of food that you know nothing about. Now he makes this analogy that I want to make right here, kind of tie these two dots together. He's, he's tying the dot of natural feed or food and how it replenishes us and refuels us so that we can keep doing things and living our lives to this sense of spiritual fulfillment that comes from being on assignment doing what God created us to do. You see how those dots are connected? So there's a natural, first the natural, the understanding we eat, and that gives us energy to continue to live. To the spiritual principle, we can eat spiritually and, and likewise be refueled so that we never lose our momentum or our motivation to keep going. So what is that refueling process? Jesus said, I have a kind of food that you don't know anything about. In verse 33, the disciples said, well, we don't understand. Did someone bring you food while we were gone? Verse 34, then Jesus explained, my nourishment comes from doing the will of God who sent me and from finishing his work. My nourishment comes from doing the will of my father and from finishing his work. I love this. This is such a powerful principle in our lives. And we, if we, we will do well to learn this because there's, there's, there's such an ache in our world today. All of us are, are yearning for a sense of significance, a sense of, of mattering in our lives and mattering to the world around us. And how do we, how do we find that sense of significance? How do, we, how do we find that elusive sense of being fulfilled in our lives? I'll, I'll tell you, Jesus uh, tells us right here the key. And it's finding what God is doing and wants us to partner with and doing that. It's like Adam and Eve being... Uh, 
in the image, having the blessing, but living on assignment. It's Adam and, if Adam and Eve did not live out this assignment to be fruitful and multiply, to fill the earth, to subdue it, take dominion over it, then to the extent that they didn't do that, they would not be fulfilled. And the converse, however, is also true. To the extent that they were able to do that and partner with God to fulfill their assignment, they would live in this sense of fulfillment that in itself becomes this spiritual refueling for our lives. Uh, this, is, this is such an important, powerful principle for all of us. Jesus said, I've got a food that you just don't understand about yet. And it is to do the will of my Father and to finish His work. Dear ones, my question to you is, what have you been assigned by God? What are you doing? Now, that, that can be this grand pressure that drives us kind of crazy. Like, I don't really know what's my, uh, as, as a pastor, as a leader, I've sat across from that pastoral desk, I've sat across from people, across from that pa pastoral desk who said over and over again, Lord, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And there's, you can hear the angst in their, in their voice as they're crying. I, I just, I want to know what I, what he wants me to do. I, I want to encourage you that it's not as hard as we make it out to be. Jesus said that I, he only did what he saw the father doing. So that's how easy it is. As you're looking at me today in this video and I'm raising my arm and I'm raising my arm this way and if you were to stand up and raise your arm that way, what would you, you would be doing what you saw me doing. That's, that's how easy is that? That's what Jesus said partnering with God to fulfill his will was like. He said, I'm only doing what I see my father doing. So we, we just need to tune our eyes to be able to see what Father's doing. And that, that uh, gives evidence to what our assignment is. And he said, I, I, only hear, I only say what I hear my Father saying. And he was moved with compassion. So those, three, those are three ways that we can, in the moment, know and be led by God, knowing what our assignment is. And Jesus said, when I do what I've been assigned to by my Father, I'm replenished. I'm fulfilled. I have a sense of of belonging to my Father and mattering to the, to the world. Dear ones, I just want to encourage you that you were created to live fulfilled in your life and to live a fulfilling life. Find your ability to see what Father is doing, hear what He's saying, and feel and sense what's on His heart, and just partner with Him to do that today. No grandiose pressure. You don't have to have the 10-year plan and be working it with everything in you. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm dismissing that and saying that's, that's, that has no value. I'm just saying that cast off all those grandiose things in, in, in this sense, that in the moment you're living today, find out what God is doing and just do that. That's what you and I are assigned to do, just like Jesus, to be with him and do what he's doing. And when we do, we will find, like Jesus, this sense, this supernatural sense of fulfillment that will replenish us and will have plenty of motivation and spiritual energy to get up tomorrow and do whatever he's asking us to do for tomorrow. Dear ones, live your life fulfilled by living your assignment.